Lawmakers are back to work today, but their job is harder than ever. There's a $1 billion shortfall in the budget because of the shutdown. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan joins us live. Kyle, we're told nothing is off limits for being cut to meet the budget needs. And that notably includes the controversial education savings account program. $25 million was set aside so that program could start this year. That's not going to be happening. It looks like they're going to be trying to take that out to help balance the budget. They should have the same opportunities. It's already started the debating of bills. In our educational systems. Among seats that are usually crowded today at the legislature, just a few people are in attendance, socially distanced, in a committee. I think there was 390 bills for this week that was on calendar. Uh, there's no way 390 bills are coming out this week, so we'll, we'll take a look and see. I would expect maybe 100 to 125 bills might make it out. Sifting through the sheer volume of new laws the legislature had full intention of getting through now seems like a difficult task. But the real hurdle is the $1 billion lawmakers have to make up to balance the budget. There's no tax increase that's an option out there. So, you know, I think we're going to look at using one-time money, uh, look at projections, and which will be coming in here in the next couple of weeks and allow us a better picture at it. Um, I think we'll be looking at making cuts, some hard cut cuts. I mean, businesses are having to make cuts. People in their homes are having to make cuts in their budget. The state shouldn't be any different. Democrats have a different take. They believe it should be one track balance the budget, flatten the curve. We've got uh, people trying to pass gun bills and other political bills. This is not the time for that. We need to be totally focused on fighting the coronavirus, getting it under control so everyone can get back to work. The goal here is to try to get done in three weeks or less, Sexton says. However, lawmakers have a lot of work to do before they can do that. Reporting live, Kyle Randus, Channel 5.